Hi guys, it's Miss Shannon. I wanted to read you a story today. Limu, the blue turtle and his Hawaiian garden. Limu, the blue turtle and his Hawaiian garden. Limu, the blue turtle, had such the most beautiful underwater garden in the entire ocean. It was so beautiful that sea creatures came from faraway places to live there. Limu loved his colorful Hawaiian garden and took very good care of it. One day, Limu saw his friend Johan, the humpback whale. Aloha, Johan, he yelled. Aloha is how you say hello and goodbye in Hawaiian. Aloha, Limu, replied the whale. I know you love beautiful things, so I bought, brought you a beautiful seaweed tree from the far away forest. Thank you so much. I love it, said Limu. Limu planted the seaweed tree in his underwater garden. It looked beautiful alongside the other seaweed and corals. The seaweed tree grew and grew. It grew so big that it blocked the sun from the other seaweed trees and they started to wilt. When there was no more seaweed to eat, the small fish left. When there were no small fishes, the big fishes had no food. So they left. Soon, there was nothing in Limu's underwater garden except a huge seaweed tree. <clears throat> Limu decided to take the seaweed tree back to the faraway forest. Even though the seaweed tree was beautiful, it was not good for his Hawaiian underwater garden. He put the seaweed tree in his mouth and started swimming towards the faraway forest. <clears throat> the tree was so very large, it seemed to grow heavier and heavier with each paddle. Soon, Limu became very tired. If I leave the tree here, it will destroy this part of the ocean. He knew he had to continue on, but he was so tired. You look so silly, said a voice from the dark blue water. What are you doing? When Limu looked up, he saw a pink turtle. You're pink, said Limu. Yes, I am. I'm the most beautiful pink turtle in the world. My name is Coral, said the beautiful pink turtle. What are you doing? She asked. I need to take this tree back to the faraway forest. It is too big and blocks the sunlight from the other ocean plants and they can't grow, said Limu. My friends and I will help you move it if you leave the tree there. It might grow in our gardens and destroy our sea plants, said Coral. I need your help, Coral called to her friends. As Limu looked into the dark blue waters, he saw an army of he hundreds of jellyfish coming towards him. They wrapped their long tentacles around the seaweed tree and started swimming towards the faraway forest. Soon, they reached a huge forest of seaweed trees. There must be a million seaweed trees. This is your real home, Limu told the seaweed tree. He replanted the huge tree next to the other trees. Thank you, said Limu. Now I have to go home and fix my garden. I don't know whether I can do it by myself. I will help you, said Coral. Everyone needs healthy plants to live. They worked hard to fix the underwater garden. Some of the seaweed and fish, fishes came back. Some never came back, but some did. 
their return made all the difference in the world. Limu and Car Coral settled down together and enjoyed their new Hawaiian garden, underwater Hawaiian garden, with their children, and, in, and each child did his part to take care of the Hawaiian garden. I hope you guys all enjoyed Limu's story about the Hawaiian garden, and I miss you guys like crazy, and I can't wait to see you guys again soon.